Let me give you some advice, bastard. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. <laughs> you know, I get Tyrion yelled at me more than I get Peter yelled at me on the streets. It's always disappointing when people think I am Tyrion. When they're disappointed, when they get into conversations with me, they're like, you're not as witty. This damn show has made my life is so great and ruined me in so many ways. You're a clever man. But you're not half as clever as you think you are. Mm. Still makes me more clever than you. When I first heard they were interested in me for a fantasy show, I went, Ugh, no. Especially being my size, and I'm not really interested in portraying a fantasy of a person. I'm an actor. I like to portray real people. And sometimes in the world of fantasy, that gets lost. This was the opposite because of the relationships between these characters, because of who Tyrion is, how flesh and blood he is. It's the most realistic show that I've ever done that also happens to have dragons and dead people walking around in it. When I was a child, my father told me the lost dragon had died a century ago. But here you are. I think a lot of fantasy is heavy on the dragon and light on the character. We're the opposite. Next time I have an idea like that, punch me in the face. I really miss Charles Dance, who played my father, Tywin Lannister. We had such a great chemistry and a great friendship. Damn. Despite our on-screen relationship, greatest thing about Tyrion, for me, the actor, is I, I think I got to work with everybody, which is not true for all the characters. I'm very fortunate to work with the greatest cast. Everybody is so professional and so incredibly kind and generous to their fellow actors. There's not one bad apple in the bunch. There never has been. And we're at the end now, so there never will be. And this crew is the greatest crew I've ever worked with. We're a family now. We just have real love for each other. Tyrion has become so close to who I am, and I look up to him. He just wants justice in the world. He wants to fight for people who don't have a voice. Will I really be able to ride? You will. Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for cripples, bastards, and broken things. He's just a really good person. Pod. There has never lived a more loyal squire. This is final season. There's only six episodes, and HBO has given us more time with these, with less episodes, which is really great, because they're insanely complicated, as I'm sure you would guess. It's cinematic. We're making 10-hour movies every year. We're so privileged to be part of something like this because it's beautiful. No matter how hard the days and how long the days and how much makeup you're under or whatever it is, when you're involved in something great, something you're going to be really proud of, it's just this feeling you have. It's like being in love. It's going to be very hard to say goodbye to play Tyrion.